Hi, Peg in Perspective. Welcome to Subs Week. It's Thursday, and my name's Cody. This week, the substitute hosts had their choice of any topic that the regular hosts covered over the course of this past month. So I ultimately decided to tackle the witch crush question, because I thought it'd be really interesting to share one of my witch crushes, and a kind of a newer one at that, and one you may have never heard of. I wanted to talk about one of my kind of recent witch crushes. I had the chance to finish a biography of Eddie Buczynski uh, called Bull of Heaven, The Mythic Life of Eddie Buczynski and the Rise of the New York Pagan. The book really goes through not only Eddie Buczynski's life, but kind of the politics of the New York Pagan community throughout the 70s, as well as a lot of the developments of the queer spirituality movement uh, particularly in the New York City area, but and beyond. What drew me to this book initially is that he created a tradition that, uh, the tradition that I'm a part of, Blue Star Wicca, uh, kind of came out of later, uh, called American Welsh. American Welsh was a tradition that Eddie Buczynski created prior to becoming involved in British traditional Wicca in the United States. Um, but he drew a lot of sources from British traditional Wicca because that was definitely his interest, but he didn't have access to that community at the time. So he created American Welsh, kind of based off of a lot of pagan way material, as well as some of his own research uh, with Celtic and British Isle mythology. He would eventually go on to become initiated into a Gardnerian line, though, as the biographer kind of points out, he had a lot of difficulty over the years, uh, some assertions made about the viability of his initiation and his initiator, and really all of the politics that uh, kind of consumed the New York pagan community uh, throughout the 70s. Eddie Buczynski also created the Minoan Brotherhood, which is a queer spiritual tradition uh, focusing on gay men and incorporates a lot of Greek and Minoan um, and other traditions and practices kind of into one, which is really cool and still survives today. Eddie Buczynski eventually passed away due to complications of AIDS and uh, as the biographer kind of writes about, he supposedly converted back to Catholicism on or near his deathbed. And I think that's kind of part of the reason why I'm drawn to him and understanding him and his contributions to uh, the pagan community and the craft uh, is because I see some elements of myself in him as a queer man, as somebody who is definitely very spiritual and identifies with um, a lot of kind of religious elements like Eddie Buczynski did. Uh, seeing a lot of that reflected in him is kind of empowering in some ways. Um, all of the, the truly wonderful things he did in collaboration with so many other folks from the pagan community in the New York area and beyond um, serves as a lot of inspiration. And in many ways, I consider him kind of a craft ancestor um, or somebody I, I certainly look up to and uh, have a lot to learn from through the traditions and the works that he left behind. So with that, um, I won't talk too much more about him, but I do hope if you're interested that you'll consider picking up Bull of Heaven. It's published by Asphodel Press. Um, it is kind of expensive, but it's fairly easy to find still via um, Amazon and the Asphodel Press website, which I'll leave below. And uh, if you read it, let me know, because it's a pretty awesome biography, not only of Eddie, but also of a lot of the other colorful characters uh, of the time in the pagan community in New York City. With that, blessed be and have a great day.